you guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure you like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance okay so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be talking about Blueface and his family going to this halloween party as the proud family and him posting the pictures and Mabu has something to say in the comment section. I'm also going to be playing y'all a video of Krishan live. Her going live with her mentor. And good thing the mentor is in her life to help keep her straight. So let's get straight into it. So Blueface posted on his Instagram not even an hour ago. Of a family picture of his family. Like I say, they was posted as the Proud family. And they look good. They really look good as a family. So, Lil Mabu, or however you pronounce his name, the one that been in the studio with Krishan, he decided to post in the comment section, your baby is missing. Oh, wait, I took your baby. He trolling. Hopefully, Blueface don't respond, but if he does, I mean, Lil Mabu, he, he don't want them hands, but if it happened, it happened. Oh, well. But anyway, here's what some of the people in the comment section had to say to that. Like I said, this was posted less than five minutes ago with the comments of him posting that. So I, I don't know if Blueface even seen it yet. So somebody said, bro, you're 18. Balls ain't even dropped yet. Relax. Another person said, yes, I love this. Another person said, this is so corny. Another person said, shaking my head. It's not even cool. Just downright diabolical. And other people was laughing. Somebody else said, wait a minute. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Him trolling Blueface about Krishan Baby not being in the picture with them. But here's a little snippet of a video of his Instagram story of the family. Shorty a little loudy. She got a little sticky. 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 <laughs> then we got Penny right here. My little cutie. Penny. So there you have that. That's cute. That's good. He likes spending time with the family now. I just wish he could get on one car with Krishan, baby, and everything would be golden. But speaking of that, Krishan went live with her mentor. And she was talking about how she wants Blueface to be in the child life. But, you know, same story. She always said he'll basically rather come mess with her instead of being a child life. Or he always talk about, like, things from the past are her and other dudes is why he is not being in the child life. Same story, but the mentor is really trying to tell her, like, leave all the other stuff that doesn't have anything to do with Junior alone. Like, you don't have to keep, you know, going back to the same scenario, the same story. Like, who cares about you and him, but keep it just with the baby. And if he don't want to do that, you still do you and you still be the parent that you need to be. Basically is what she was telling him. I meant telling her, sorry. And also, shout out to House of Blues for catching this live because I was sleeping. I just woke up. But anyway, shout out to House of Blues. Y'all go follow him on Instagram and everything else. And here go the video. I talk, and then it's like he's still on that bitter shit. Well, even when I dumb it down a little bit. It's not, it's not really fair to have such an open discussion without him being able to tell his side. So I think you should just focus on the things that you can focus on and not really worry about what he is doing. You understand what I'm saying? That'll keep people in the- I what he's doing. I'm just looking at my kid no. and I ain't, I ain't make this nigga myself. No, no, no. And motherfucker, I, I'm kind of like avoiding help from right. male figures on purpose. I'm, Do that make sense? Reference to Junior. Let me be clear. Huh? I'm talking about in reference to Junior. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, cool. Because that's yeah. what you were talking about. Please. No, no. I'm talking about in reference to Junior. You have to just worry about the things you can control. That's it. And they have experts. They have experts that can help, you know, co-parenting situations and come up with solutions on weekends experts. What's or experts? not. Court? Go to court? Did Hell I, no. Did I say court? Oh. You said experts. <laughs> Who the experts? Yes. I mean, no experts. They had, they had family counselors. They have all, all, all types of people. You're, listen, you are not the first person to have a baby and have issues with the, the child's father. No, I never heard the father not wanting to see the kid, though. You won't be the last. You have time. Just right now, focus on you and Junior, and things will come to. I am focus. I'm just trying to figure out. No, you're not. You, <laughs> you mad. You mad because somebody. I'm not even mad, yo. I'm not even mad. I'm kind of disappointed. 
Okay, what disappointed? Very good. Okay, that's good away. I'm not mad. Mad is kind of like it's coming from your heart, and I'm that's not in my heart. I don't got no anger, no mad in my heart. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. Okay. Like, oh, okay, cool. I know who I am, even though you be popping that school yard shit. Like, you want some real nigga shit? I'm thinking I want some real nigga shit. You will really want to be in kid life. It don't have to necessarily have to deal with me at all. Like, you there don't have you to deal with me at all. But it's like, there you go again. The fuck up. There you go. But I know, bro. I'm just trying to, like, what? There you go again. This shit is crazy. You focused on the wrong, wrong thing. How? <laughs> this nigga should be in jail for the picture. Everything. I think I'm not doing the right co parenting shit. Like, should I have called the cops? What do you think co parents Protect your kid at all costs. No, what is co-parent? Share. Okay, that's part of it. Sharing. What else? Um, y'all coexist, as in like, you know, respect each other's identity as an individuality. Like, it's a lot of togetherness before this was divided. So you have to kind of, you know, very good. So that's pretty much it. Co-parenting is creating a healthy, safe, and nurturing environment for the child. Or okay, what is that? Do I have to buy a house? What do that mean? See, there you go again. You jump into the finish line. Make some noise. You got to go step by step. You trying to take 500 leaps. co Parenting is providing a safe and nurturing and loving environment and healthy environment for the child, right? Despite the interaction or interpersonal relationship between the mother and the father. Okay. Yeah, I think it gotta be in control. Like, it's like, I don't get no say so if, if it's really not the life. Like, sure. Say come on drag with a new nigga and all this other shit. He don't want to have no parts of anything. What? I'm telling you what it is. Nope. Like, when I talk to him, he give that vibe. Like, nah. You have? Who can you control? Like, he be making comments like, I thought you was looking for a new pappy. I'm like, oh, for real? You're weird. Like, yeah, I'm looking new pappy for me. I'm not looking for no new pappy for my damn son. What's he got a pappy? What's the goal of parenting? What's the goal? You said, okay, okay, back to what you were saying. The goal. What's the goal of co-parenting? A healthy environment to coexist with the individual you really don't fuck with, but that's the kid father. Right, so. So anything, any conversations that's outside of the betterment of junior can be tabled. It's unnecessary. Don't engage. Right. That's all. You can redirect. You can say, okay, well, I, you know, I want to keep the conversation on junior. You know, do you have anything to add about junior? That's how you keep a healthy, that's how you keep a healthy conversation in a co-parenting relationship. All right, so, all right, okay, I'm over it. You're right. I was waiting for the no-call ID to keep ringing my phone. It's not easy. Then I'll be like, all right, so how you going to call her? What? I'll just wait till it comes, like, you know what I'm saying? Till he get ready. I'm not, there's no pressure, no rush, no nothing. Both for, both for y'all. Both, you too. You included. Huh? You included. Y'all, y'all both just, what? that's all. What you mean, huh? You have to practice. You have to practice. Practice what? Healthy talk, speaking to speaking to him in a respectful way. We do, okay. and then it get out of it. It kind of go off topic yeah. though. If so, somebody doesn't. Like, we we be talking about some shit like. What we be talking about that he be trying and I be. Uh, Somebody's not maintaining their emotions. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Cause I swear the nigga he had give me some dick before he can be a father. That, uh, that's what's so wrong with him. Too much. That's why I'm like, oh God, I ain't you no. Know. Just too much for the people. I'm much. just saying, like he he he'll, he'll pull up some for some pussy, but he won't pull it's up. Fine. It's fine. I'm not it's saying we, that's what he doing. For sure. I'm saying that's, that's what he would do. They don't need to know that. That's too much. Huh? That's too much.
much. We don't need to know that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, you right. Yeah, it's too much. I'm not saying you are that's real or true. Dang, I'm just hot. Hi, hi, all right, see, I be so honest to people, motherfuckers think it's really true. I'm hypothetically yeah. speaking. Everybody needs to know every. Hypothetically speaking, it wasn't really what was going on here. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, Papa, I got your bottle. Oh, he did it live. Huh? You'll get it. You just have to keep practicing. You'll get it. Keep practicing what, yo? Being toxic? It's like, no, let me stop. It's a joke. It's a joke. Healthy. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I think I think I think that being toxic sometimes gives you a give you a rush. I think being toxic sometimes gives you a rush of dopamine. Like you said what? You been Toxic sometimes gives you a rush of dopamine, like it's exciting. It's like, woo! Adrenaline, yeah, that should be fire. Like, no, I'm not saying I'm not. That was the old me. I'm not saying that's what well, I'm saying. Okay. Practicing, we're, we're slowly changing. Change doesn't happen overnight, but if you do a little bit each day, it gets easier, and then you'll be able to practice more. And then, before you know it, you'll be doing it without even thinking. Ah. practice. Yes. All right. What it looks. Like what it looks like is, is you have to have like good self talk, like in like, okay, should I have said that? Or was that nasty? Was that mean? Okay, I probably shouldn't have said that. And then taking responsibility, like you know what, I shouldn't have said that. That was my stuff of me. I shouldn't have said that. I, well, I gave up. I ain't going like a couple of days. Ago, I just gave up. I'm like, all right, I'm over it. Like over the. Yeah, I just gave up. I'm like, I'm over it. Trying to see what's the like nitty, like down to the nitty gritty. What is it? Well, you asked me how. That's what it might look like. And then it's like, he he's like, I'm a man. I want to have control of da-da-da-da-da. And I'm just like, oh, that's why. Okay. But I don't want nobody controlling me, Richard. Okay, so your expectations are not the same. There we go again. That's why you have conversations <laughs> about... I don't want to deal with me at all because I'm just... And then he like he be like... I don't want to be with a bitch, not a nigga. So he swear up and down, I'm a nigga. I just got like this. This nigga shit, I just became. Well, you definitely weren't like this before I sent you to California. <laughs> right. I was a fucking girly girl. You were. Shit, always my makeup. Gentle. I barely wore braids. My hair was straight all the time or done. Like, that's what mm. I'm saying. Like, nigga, like, well, I changed like this because, like, I think Trump. Well, was Sometimes, most of the time, often, often, sometimes, well, what you will find with women is that we're comfortable being feminine, but when we don't feel safe, we feel like we have to protect ourselves. And the way that we protect ourselves are exhibited by what is commonly known as masculine tendencies, right? So, you know, being harsh, being, um, you know, standoffish. Know, not being vulnerable. I mean, you want to be vulnerable to somebody you trust. Like, no, you think really, that no, I can. I really can soften up, but yeah, I am like yeah, you one of those soften up when you're when you feel safe. That's my point. So when your safety is jeopardized, you turn into a nigga. But whose fault is it, mom? It's not anyone's fault. It's just behavior. It's your you you trying to protect yourself. Right. Okay. Oh. So. It's about acknowledging your behavior, figuring out what you want to change, and then understanding how you morph into that. Like, what were the causes? How was I before? How do I want to be? Is my environment conducive for survival, right? Can I survive a healthy in this environment? And if not, do I need to make changes to it? And I think that's the process that you're in. You're in the process of identifying what you really want, what makes you happy and do you have control over those things and this process is messy it gets ugly because sometimes we want to be toxic sometimes we want to be peaceful sometimes we want better and then sometimes it's just hard to do the work so that's what i think a lot of people are seeing they're seeing like this roller coaster you know, of you, Stop it. Like, I feel, honey, at the end of the day i could be your best friend so it's like me and him like, like, all right, say it's like, I, I pop up tomorrow, right? And my friend's like, what the fuck? 
Little do they know before any of this shit, money, baby. All right, I, I was. Okay, so that's all I have for y'all in tonight's video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about everything in the comment section below. I do comment back, and i catch you guys in the next one. Bye.